fact, as I have mentioned at the beginning of this lecture, the first textbook is Approaches to Translation, which was issued uh, in 1988 by Peter Newmark. Uh, the text, in fact, ha uh, consists of two parts. The first part is Aspect of Translation Theory, and the second, some positions on translation. Uh, we are, uh, in the first semester, we are concerned with the first part of this textbook, which is concerned with theory and the craft of translation, uh, the concerns and the fruits of translation theory, the types of translation methods that the, translate, uh, the, the author has introduced, which are of two types, semantic translation and communicative translation. In fact, semantic translation and uh, communicative translation uh, the difference between both is that the first one, that is the semantic, is concerned with the uh, lexical, syntactic, and semantic content of the original text. While communicative translation is more free, is, free, uh, is more concerned with introducing senses of the original. It is the same difference between word for word and sense for sense translation methods. Uh, the scholar here has introduced some guidelines for translators to follow either semantic translation or communicative translation depending on the text type that the translator is uh, rendering. For instance, legal translation, scient uh, legal text, sorry, scientific text, uh, advertised, uh, advertisement text, uh, they should be translated by the use of the semantic translation. Unlike literary text, they should be, it is advisable that they should be uh, translated or rendered by the use of the complete translation. However, we have some, in fact, text or part of text in literary text, literary text that need uh, word for word or semantic translation, like proverbs, like uh, cliches, idiomatic expressions, all these sometimes for instance, necessity is the mother of invention. How we are going to translate it? We are going to say al haja um al Also, we have this is the straw that broke the camel's back. How how the translator is going to render this? He is going to say هذه القشة التي قصب البحر البعير. So we don't have uh, any other escape from literal translation in such types of expressions. Uh, moreover, the textbook is also going to introduce the translation of proper names, institutional and cultural terms. How are we going to handle the translation of proper names? In fact, proper names are classifiable in terms of personal names and proper names. Personal names, they are, they are generally speaking and translatable. Well, uh, let us say local names, uh, city names, uh, names of countries, they are, some of them, uh, they are untranslated and some of them they have become naturalized. For instance, Egypt is, uh, let us say, uh, given the equivalent of uh, Mosul in Arabic. Clear? Uh, Damascus, uh, Cairo, these nouns or names of cities, they have become naturalized into English. Uh, then the author tackles uh, or devotes uh, a full chapter to the translation of the metaphor, where he introduces seven procedures for the translation of metaphor uh, this depends on the presence of one-to-one -one equivalence in the uh, target between the target text and the source text, or sometimes the translator is going to translate um, the metaphorical expressions by using uh, the, uh, let us say, paraphrasing strategy or uh, the uh, functional equivalent in the target text, etc. Uh, then. Uh, the translation of synonymy, the translation of, uh, uh, let us say, uh, trans uh, the, the 
uh, treatment of textile, uh, treatment of translation uh, translators for uh, textiles, whether uh, uh, whether to keep the the same cohesion and coherence in the in the target text. Sometimes the authors, so the, the author definitely they they, they are going to knit their uh, text in a very uh, good manner. But when <coughs> these texts, <coughs> when these texts they are translated into into the target language, they are going to some extent uh, to lose uh, part of their cohesive and coherent uh, ties. So this is the responsibility of the translator to keep the same cohesion and coherence in the translated text or in the target text. Uh, also, uh, the author uh, or the translation theory uh, has developed across time. Uh, so the, these developments, uh, uh, they are attributed to various reasons. First of all, we have, uh, in fact, our sources are developing the translation theories. Uh, knowledge expansion, the first, because of the knowledge expansion that the different fields of uh, knowledge uh, have witnessed, this had some uh, positive uh, impact on the development of translation theory. The uh, uh, issuing of scientific journals, the establishment of international organizations led to the need of translation and trans translators like United Nations, uh, like uh, European Union, all these international organizations, they need translators into different languages. Uh, also, we have, uh, let me, uh, it is very, very rare, in fact, to find uh, uh, a respectable, uh, uh, let us say, university that uh, does not involve a trans translation department. Clear? And this is also had led, uh, so has led to the uh, expansion or to the importance of the translation uh, practice and translation. The, uh, theory. Uh, in fact, there are some steps that the translator should follow before he gets involved in the translation process. He should read the text, understand it, uh, before uh, getting involved in the uh, rendering process. Uh, regardless of the translation or the translator's competence in language and in culture, uh, the sorry, loss in translation uh, is something uh, unavoidable. That is the translator definitely is going to face some difficulty in keeping the same content of the, or of the original text here. And this is attributed definitely to uh, linguistic and cultural differences between the source text and the target text. No matter how the translator is competent in the translation process, loss is there, here, uh, due to cultural differences, uh, between, uh, basically to cultural differences between both texts. Uh, then uh, we have Oh. 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 Oh.